The cost of living crisis hasn't affected the illegal drug market. New research shows drugs like methamphetamine and cannabis are actually getting cheaper and more readily available. Results out this morning from the New Zealand Drug Trends Survey show the price for a gram of meth has declined by $157 to $406 per gram over the past four years. Sarah Helm from New Zealand Drug Foundation is with us now from Wellington. Morena, Sarah. Tell us why is it getting cheaper to buy meth or even cannabis when everything else is rising? Yeah, look, I'd say the cannabis um, change actually has been smaller than, than is being reported here. So it was a few years ago that the price came down. It's been relatively steady the last few years. Um, it would be easy to let co to conclusions on that one, but we aren't seeing a big increase in cannabis use in general survey results. So something to keep an eye on, but not necessarily um, a huge uh, cause for concern. The methamphetamine price decrease is really interesting. It's the first time we've seen that reported. We suspect it's down to increased um, uh, places that are producing methamphetamine, so an increase in diversity of supply and maybe some increased competition in the market, but that's um, uh, hastening a guess there, that has been a relatively significant decrease over the last few years. Again, we aren't seeing an increase in use in, in the general population, so just to hasten caution around that, but we should be concerned. Yeah, absolutely. And did the study reveal anything more about supply and demand for methamphetamine in New Zealand at the moment? The study itself was very focused on the actual price point or the report that's come out today around methamphetamine. However, we do know there are more places producing methamphetamine. We've had a massive increase in the volume being seized at the border. And I do think we need to be concerned of the potential for an increase in our market uh, supply. In New Zealand, um, we have a very tiny market. We're very vulnerable to international trends um, and often our use is dictated by supply, so I'd be concerned about that in particular. Sarah, what other drugs are becoming more accessible or even harder to get now and why? Yeah, I, I think it's good to check these studies, but the MDMA uh, piece coming out of that research suggested that it was less available, which is interesting because it's one of our lower harm substances. So we may see people switch to more harmful things as a result of that being less available. Conversely, we are, and I can corroborate this with other information, an increase in availability in cocaine that is largely down to a massive increase in global supply of camp, uh, cocaine and those suppliers trying to get into new markets. Really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. That is Sarah Helm, Executive Director from New Zealand Drug Foundation.